It's Tuesday, November 26 here in Seoul, and this is your daily news from Korea Now. I'm Debbie Wan. South Korea and the ASEAN member states have wrapped up their two-day summit in Busan on Tuesday with a joint statement laying out a vision for their future partnerships. The document reviews the past three decades of bilateral ties between South Korea and the 10 Southeast Asian countries and maps out a framework for the 11 nations to work even closer together in the future. After two days of jam-packed schedule for the ASEAN Special Summit, President Moon is set to host an official welcoming dinner for the inaugural Mekong Republic of Korea Summit to be held on Wednesday. It would involve the leaders of the Mekong Five Nations, which include Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, and Vietnam. With Disney's new animation film, Frozen 2, smashing the Korean box office since its release last week, Lee Hyun Min, a South Korean national who is also an animation supervisor of the film, spoke at a press conference in Seoul on Monday. While talking about the new film, Lee says she has focused on establishing Princess Anna as an inclusive leader as she has an amazing inner power like the ability to empathize with others and embrace them. Lee is part of the creative minds behind Frozen 2 who visited South Korea as part of a promotional tour. She is the animation supervisor of the character Anna, who sets out on a dangerous adventure with her sister Elsa. K-pop boy band BTS will appear on Japanese television almost a year after the group was cancelled by several Japanese TV shows over a controversy related to a t-shirt worn by one of its members in the past. On Monday, BTS took part in the recording for the 2019 FNS Music Festival that's set to air on Fuji TV. Although FNS is held live each year, BTS had to record their session in advance due to conflicting schedules. Last year, BTS was cancelled by several Japanese TV stations after an old picture of Jimin wearing a t-shirt depicting the U.S. atomic bombing of Japan started being shared online. The picture made many Japanese fans angry, who called the t-shirt an insult. And those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.